Karen's been doing this, so it's my first time doing it by myself ever. I didn't even know how to work the mic. I had to call Karen. Um, and it's really early over there. Hi guys, this is week four of our Indiegogo campaign. Thank you so much for all the backers so far. We had a really great week last week. Um, so what happened? We actually hit 20k. So that means all you maroon, you know, lovers, we are there. We, we can order that color now. We have five fantastic colors now available. Just to let you know, Karen is actually in China right now with our factory, um, just finalizing all the great last minute details, just mostly confirming things like colors, um, hardware. Um, like you guys know, we, uh, a lot of people have been asking for a lot of little different features like adding D-rings or O-rings inside the bags and adding little feet and all that good stuff. And of course the strap. So I just wanna give a quick update on that. We are pretty much good to go. Um, we just need to raise a little bit more money um, just so we give you an, an idea. Um, when we priced out the bags for this campaign, they were priced with the bag in its original form, right? No feet, no O-rings, no, um, no additional features beyond that. So what we really would love to do is make these stretch goals. I already updated the stretch goal list to include the internal um, rings to so you can clip your keys on it. Um, and also the little feet on the um, bottom of each bag. Um, so let's get to 25K. Um, that would help unlock both of those features. Now a quick update on the non-chain strap option. It's actually proving to be a little bit more difficult um, than anticipated. And to kind of give you an idea of the process so far in this last year, we really spent months um, you know, designing this bag and testing out the bag. and making sure it not only looks nice, but all the features were, you know, really true to what we wanted to do um, with this bag. And the strap with the ch without the chain is actually harder than uh, we thought it would be. Like, how do we really create something that's slash proof, yet still nice looking? Like, we don't just want to copy any other anti-theft bag out there. We really want to, you know, make this whole experience, this whole product very unique and wonderful. So we might not be able to actually create this strap. We're still trying. Our factory is going to try out some ideas um, that we had in mind, but no promises there. I'm super sorry if we don't do it, but hopefully we can work up something. If not, we'll just you know stick with the chain options. It would still be a great bag um, without that option. Funny story about the maroon color we just unlocked. It's kind of like the dress situation here. Um, when Karen went to confirm the colors for all the five different bags, um, she noticed that the uh, maroon color was it was actually more purple than she thought it would be initially. And I think she, this is you know under artificial light inside a uh, inside a mall essentially, this kind of setting. And when she brought it home, uh, I asked her to take some pictures of it in the sunlight and indoors and whatnot. And you're really, you actually get really two different colors here, and all the other colors don't really do this as much, at least. Like, there's not as big of a difference between all the different colors. Um, so here are the, I want to show you the two pictures here. Just something to keep in mind, it still looks like a wonderful color. It's still going to be a fabulous color. If not, um, you know, if this turns you off, we still definitely have all the other four colors available, so not to despair. Just really also want to talk about how far we got in this campaign like when karen and i started this we had no clue we'd get this far we're just amazed by all the support and how you know the response from you guys and we're really really excited so thank you so much for all the great comments emails um, support all over on social media and everything it's been really wonderful uh, you know, when we started, we thought we were just going to do like this small little project. Not Well, not small, but it was still really big to us. Um, but, you know, we were thinking about just ordering the minimum order quantity and all, all that kind of stuff. But now, you know, we've flown far past that now. So we're really considering, um, you know, doing a bigger uh, initial order to help sustain this business and hopefully... Uh, you know, we, if we raise a little bit more, we can hit some really great milestones on, um, on our end. So thank you so much. Um, we're going to do our best to, you know, make the product even better for you guys without increasing the price, which is great for you. If you haven't checked out our referral program yet, please take a look. 
for every uh, person you refer after the first three, you get a great bonus. So check that out. Take a look at the new updated color chart that Karen um, made. This is after she got all the samples and um, she just made a um, couple tweaks to make the colors a little bit more reflective and the images of the bags more reflective of what they will really be. Uh, like one thing is like before, um, she didn't really show what the zippers, uh, what zipper colors would look like on um, the new stretch gold color bags. Um, so like the blue and maroon, they'll, they'll have basically white zippers. The gray, black will have black zippers and of course cream will still remain the same thing. It'll have white zippers as well. So let us know if you have any questions. Um, please keep sharing with your friends and family. We really wanna make this campaign as successful as possible. Sorry for this not as nice a video as Karen's, you know, nicely produced ones. It's super hot in here. Um, I don't know how she does it. Um, and now my daughter is now playing with toys downstairs. So <laughs> kind of hear that music playing then. That's my little Skyla. So thanks so much. Bye. It's so hot in here. Okay, Karen, I'm turning around. Maybe we can say hi to everyone.